probably one of the biggest things that um, I talk to salespeople about is customizing your pitch, right? Because it's likely whatever you're selling, someone else is selling the same thing. If you're selling event planning services, someone else sells that as well. If you're selling iPhones, our houses, our cars, someone's selling that as well. And normally it's not too much of a difference, right? There's always gonna be those little things that make your product or service different. But it's not too much of a difference from the car dealership on the east side of town and the car dealership on the west side of town. The difference should be with the salesperson, right? And you're in the, one of those industries where you could easily be ripped off or knocked off. You have to be the difference. And you can't be the difference by just listing all the features on what your product or service can do. Well, it comes with this and it comes with that and it comes with that. If that's the best way to sell your product or service, you shouldn't have salespeople, you should sell it online. Seriously, if you're an entrepreneur and you have an item or product or service that someone could just look at the features and say, yep, I get it, I want it, and that's the only way that it should be sold, that's the way you should do it. You shouldn't hire a sales consultant like me, you shouldn't hire a sales coach, you shouldn't hire salespeople, you should put up your website and sell it that way. Chances are that's not the way that it works though. Chances are you still need those things that are gonna make you different from everyone else that's in the pool with you selling the same things. And the thing that makes you different is when you can customize your sales pitch based on what your customer needs, right? If your customer is telling you that they need an event planned because their baby girl, their firstborn is turning 16, that's what you sell to. You don't sell to your money back guarantee. You don't sell to the cheapest price above the Mason Dixon line. You don't sell to anything else other than making sure that their 16 year old girl's party is as perfect and as precious and as wonderful as they expect it to be, right? If you're selling homes, you don't say, and to the right, there's a fireplace. That's not gonna sell it, it's just a fireplace. They saw that on a piece of paper you gave to them before they walked in. You turn to them and say, now look, I specifically chose this house because I know with your family, you really value that family time and you guys are looking for a place to create memories. And I can just imagine you sitting in front of this fireplace, reading books to the kids, watching movies, cuddling up, telling stories. And so that's why I picked this house. I thought it would be perfect for what you guys value and what you deem as important. Once you start to do that, once your pitch starts to sound like that, once you can take what's important to my customer, what I have to sell and merge those two together, the world is yours. Then you can't be stopped. Then no one else sounds like you. No one else pitches the, the product the way that you pitch the product. Right? Even though you're selling the same thing, you're selling it to different people, your pitch is gonna sound slightly different. And people will never forget that. That's the way it should be done.